What's up guys, Bua Davis here. Today I want to teach you how you can make your character fly with a jetpack. And if you are doing some kind of 2D platformer game, this might be helpful for you. And before we begin, if you like my content and want to see more videos like this, please like this one and subscribe to my channel. It will be always greatly appreciated. Now, let's get started and I prepared few assets for us to work today and as usual I will leave links to all of them in the description down below so you can use them as well and I couldn't found nice character for us with a jetpack so what I'm gonna do I will use two packs one for our character and second one uh, for our jet and I have these zombie assets and in the idle uh, you will see this zombie pack and let's drag our zombie into our scene by the way you can resize your zombie because it will come like this we change it back and this zombie seems little bigger for us so what we can do we can click on this zombie and in the inspector we will see this pixel per unit and if, if you change this to for example 200 your zombie will get smaller and i think this is good size for our player and we also have these assets uh, with a different packs by the way it, it comes with this uh, single type and you should make it multiple so what you can do you can click on this assets and in the sprite mode you will see this single and we should change it to multiple and we should apply it and then we can go in the sprite editor and we can choose this automatic uh, type to slice it by parts you can click on this slice and as you see it will slice your parts in a different uh, ways and we can click on the apply and as you see now we have uh, lots of parts to use but we only need this jetpack for us so let's drag our jetpack into our scene our jetpack is big so we should resize it as well so click on the assets itself this one and you will see pixels per unit uh, again and let's resize and make it 500 click apply and you will see that our jetpack is a nice size but I want to make our jetpack behind my player so we can change order in layer for our jetpack click on your jetpack and in the inspector you will see this order in layer if you make this for example minus one you will see that our jetpack is behind our player which is nice and exactly what we need one more thing we should drag our jetpack and make child make it child of our player so drag our jetpack and drop in our player and now uh, we have player with a child of jetpack so let's rename everything this is our jetpack and this zombie is our player now I'm not gonna do animations for this zombie and I already have a video about it and if you want and don't know how to do it you can check that out it's very simple uh, but rather we can concentrate on flying itself for this one with this video and first of all let's create ground for our player and we can use unity's 2d objects to do it in the empty space of the hierarchy panel you can click with your right mouse button and you will see this window pop up and you can select 2d objects sprites and let's use squares and we can resize this square by choosing this rect tool you can also use the scaling uh, transform element and you can drag this and fit your scene better never mind let's do it like this we can also change color of our ground so let's make it green for example 
let's see how it looks it looks fine and let's make second one second square for our player and let's see if our player can fly to that point so again let's resize our ground and it will be our platform so let's make it red yeah the task will be for our player to jump here to fly with his jet on this platform and i hope he can do it let's rename it those ones as well it's our platform and this is our ground now everything to work we need to add colliders because uh, right now if you start playing nothing will happen and our character will be stuck where it is right now and that's because our player does not have any uh, physics and let's add physics to our player we can add component and we can search here for rigid body and add rigid body 2d and if we press play you will see that our player will fall down because it now has this gravitation uh, which will pull him down and uh, let's see but the problem is that he falls through our uh, ground but we want him to uh, fail on this ground and to be able to walk on it so what we can do we can add colliders to our player and to our ground and colliders are used to just collide with different kind of game objects and to interact with each other and to add them you can select your player for example and you will see this add component and in the search box we can type some kind of collider for example box collider 2d let's click it and it will add this green line but this collider is big for our character so what we can do we can uh, click on this edit collider uh, we can resize this collider to match our uh, zombie a little better like this and now we can do same for our ground so select your ground add component box collider 2d and that's it now we have box collider and uh, rigid body as well so our player can land on our ground as you see now it's time to go and make our player to actually fly so let's create new c -sharp script if you don't know how to do it you can click on the empty space of the assets window and you will see this create c -sharp script and i already created one i called it jetpack you can call it anything you want just make sure to assign this script into your player and to do it you can drag this script into your player and drop it here or you can choose your player scroll down and click on this add component and you can type here name of your script in our case it's jetpack click it and it will add your script into your player let's hide those ones we don't need it let's double click on our uh, script and let's start working on it first of all we need two variables to work on so we need public float speed for our left and right movement and uh, we also need one public float for our jump force so let's call it jump force it will be for our uh, flying basically and in the void start uh, we should get reference for our rigid body so let's create a variable for our rigid body as well we can say rigid body 2d and let's name it rb and as usual we can get reference in the start by saying rb equals get component and the component name is rigid body don't forget parentheses and semicolon and now in the update we can say that when we are pressing for example space key we want to have some flying movement so we can add some forces to our player so we can do if input dot get key and in parentheses we can say key code dot space 
So it means that we are pressing space key. Uh, we want to add some forces to our player. So we can use our rigid body and say RB dot add force. And we should make direction. In our case, we want up movement. So we can say vector two dot up. And we can have some, we should have some speed. That's why we created this jump force. So let's multiply our vector two dot up by jump force. And semicolon, we can save this script. And to save it, you can click on the control S or command S. And if you are on Mac, and let's go back in Unity, let your script compile and see if we are able to fly when we press space key well i forgot something uh, if we select our player he has this jump force and speed we don't we don't need the speed yet but jump force let's make it eight for example so if we press play right now you will see that when we press space key our player can fly in the air nice but we can't uh, move on the left on on the right yet so let's create our uh, moving script for our player it will be very simple actually after our space key in the update we can say that if inputs dots get key key code a so if we are pressing a key we want left movement so we can say transform dot translate or translate and we can say here that we want vector two dot left because we want left movement times speed for our speed and times time dot delta time for smooth movement and we can duplicate this so let's copy and let's paste it here all we need to do to change our key code to be D. So when we are pressing this D key, we want uh, right movement. So vector two dot right times speed times time dot delta time. We can save this script. It's a very simple script. All we did is just change this direction to be left and here to be right. And let's go back in Unity and let's assign speed to be six, for example. And let's start playing and see if we can move left and right. And as you see, when we are pressing D key, we can move left and we can move right. But as you see, we have one problem. Even when we are moving on the left side, our player is facing on the right side which is bad and we should fix it. And if we have a look on our player, we have this transform and we have this sprite render. Now, there is few ways how we can uh, implement uh, this rotational movement. First of all, we can flip this X and if you tick this flip X, you will see that your player will look on the right. So we can change it uh, by script, but we can also change our player's rotation. For example, if we change this rotation to be uh, 180, you will see that our player uh, moves left. And if we go back to zero, our player looks right. So all we need to do is to change our rotation on the Y axis to be 180 when we are pr pressing A key. And when we are pressing D key, we want our rotation to be zero. So let's go in script and uh, let's make it. Uh, so when we are pressing A key after our transform, we want one more transform, but this time we will use Euler, Euler angles, which is basically rotation. And we want it to be actually new vector two with two parameters x and y we don't need x to be anything so zero and we want to y to be 180 as i said and after when we are pressing d key we can copy this line of code 
So let's copy and let's paste it here. And instead of 180, we want zero to be here. And this way, when we are pressing A key, our player will look left. And when we are pressing right key, our player will look right. I think it's easiest way not to get confused. So let's save this script. Let's go back in Unity and let's see if everything works fine. And we can move left. But as you see, when we are pressing right key, our player looks right, but uh, he is moving when we are pressing A key, he is moving on the left, but he is still moving on the right. That's because we are using the speed to all uh, left and right. And we should change this speed to be minus, minus speed when we are pressing A key. And this way, everything will be fixed. And let's see if, if it's fixed. Let's go back in Unity. Let's press play. And... We are moving on the right, we are moving on the left. Yeah, and that's it, guys. Our player can obviously fly. So probably our jump force 8 is not is big enough. So we can make it something like 6. And we can obviously fly, but we can't land on this platform because it has no colliders right now we can add box collider to it now one more thing to do with this jetpack you can add some particle systems to have fire coming for your jet or have some particles there and you can also implement animations as i said and if you want me to make video about particle systems and how you can use them and how you can make different effects with Unity's particle system. Just let me know in the comments down below and I will try to do it. But right now you have this flying zombie, which is fun. So I hope this video was informative for you and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell not to miss any new upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and see you soon.